So let's go back to the question for Sebastian. Where can we find information about the progress of this standardization project? Um, up to now, we are in the um, phase that we have introduced the project to the TC89. Um, in TC89, uh, we have information about, about the project, and uh, the next um, important step is that the ballot will start within TC89 if they are willing to support the work on the standards. So this is within ISO TC89, so I guess some wants us to go to its mirror group in its country yeah. to, to get the information. Um, are the results an average of different brands of, of TEP, or did you test only one tape? No, um, I um, guess the question uh, refers to the minimum requirements that uh, we have defined in the national uh, standard. Uh, this was a broad range of tapes, so from um, specific tapes for airtight adhesives, but also normal, normal tapes uh, that are not um, specific specifically produced, and we had a broad range of brands and types of uh, products to de define these minimum values. Okay, thank you. Will this standard only focus on internal air vapor barrier? Air tightness products for wind barrier will not be included? Wind barrier products are not included right now. I think this will, of course, it could be a question if this can be handled in one standard, um, but at least uh, for the artificial aging, of course, we have a completely different um, yeah. impact for the wind barrier yeah, that right. is positioned on the external side compared to the um, vapor control layers that are on the internal side. Yeah. Um, where is it possible to buy the specified bull pet? Bull PET? really a question. Um, it's not so easy <laughs> to find. Uh, there are um, producers uh, of uh, BOPET uh, substrates and um, yeah, you have to ask them uh, to get the, the correct material. But there are many factors available that produce a BOPET membrane that um, fits the specifications we give in the standard. Um, TC89 does not deal with product standards? Up to now, not. That's correct. Um, it is, as I said before, more a TC that uh, deals with general building uh, physics aspects. Um, the problem or the uh, reason why we have chosen the TC89 is that um, we need expertise uh, according to the climatic impact according to the building uh, physics aspects. Uh, so I think uh, TC, as example, the TC193, of course they have m much expertise on the adhesives, but maybe, maybe not that much expertise on the relevant um, aging conditions, for example. That's why we have chosen TC89. Okay. Thank you. And one last question that came for you. How to consider the impact of UV aging during the installation time? Huh. That's also an interesting question. If I think about the airtight barrier, in most cases being on the internal side, there is not much UV. So, um, of course, there are uh, some cases, so if you think about the looped installation of uh, vapor control layers and kind of renovation of uh, pitch roofs, uh, there is um, the situation that uh, a part of the uh, vapor control layer is uh, on the top side of the rafters, and then in case the roof is not closed with an underlay or with uh, the tiles, of course, there may be some impact of UV, but uh, we consider the UV um, that comes from the inside um, somehow by diffusion, diffusive reflection or, or something like this is not um, so much that it has to be considered here. Yeah, I would tend to agree with that, unless the installation times last a few years, but if it's just a few weeks, I guess it's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I think we do not. We have no more questions for you, so we will go 
back to the questions to address because we are far from having, we'll take five more minutes before closing this, uh, this webinar to answer the question uh, asked to Andres. Andres, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear? Yeah, okay. Um, so we were two questions. Three, how you have done similar tests with the stone instead of wood, wood is straight, easier to seal, easier to make airtight. Um, have you done, I think the question is, have you done similar tests with stone instead no, of wood? No, we, 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 we did tests um, uh, with wood and um, uh, we plan to do further research and to change the, the material uh, and to change wood uh, and we'll try to to, to, to find out, um, we, we, we are not, uh, we, we didn't decide what we will uh, choose, uh, but we decided to change. So, to try uh, something else. To try something else, yeah. But it's not done yet. You will no. have to wait for it. No. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so and, when and 13. Just, uh, yes. uh, Valérie, just to, to answer to the, to the uh, previous questions. We don't pretend to uh, to develop a universal uh, standard or normalized test uh, corresponding to all the weathers. So we we, we just uh, want to prove that our um, equipment, the environmental chamber, the, and the protocol can, can be used uh, for some cases, and, and then perhaps uh, in in future years we'll be able to have something more more. Universal, but we don't pretend to 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 to, to deal with all the the situations. Yes, yeah. the first step was mm -hmm. to develop an experimental chamber, mm -hmm. and the protocol is the second step, basically. It's more a feasibility approach. Yeah. Than a... Okay. Um, when selecting representative configurations, did you also consider which product to use, manufacturer, etc., or do you consider the product on the market to be similar enough that you get the same result regardless of this? Um, well, we, we want to be as close to the to to, to the market, so uh, we, we we choose. Um, uh, uh, products that are av available in, in the market. We, we the, for the implementation of the products, uh, we ask the technical uh, representative to help us to to um, to implement the, their own products in order to be uh, uh, ad uh, to have an um, adequate uh, uh, positioning of all the products. Um, uh, but just uh, we, I, I cannot answer precisely to to to, to have a, 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 a final conclusion of, uh, of that question. Uh, so the the typology of products, uh, we 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 had three types of different products. Uh, we saw that uh, one according to the to 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 the to the present. Uh, uh, equipment we have, we could test it, uh, but um, I, I cannot say that if uh, other products of, of, of on the market of this uh, same typology would, would be uh, would have the same uh, results. Okay. Um, last question: uh, Why the test separated temperature, humidity, and pressure? I think uh, we did not all go ahead. Sorry. No. Well, you, 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 I presume that it's the aging test. It's not the the, the pressurization test. Yes, I think this is the aging. So, if uh, for the aging, well, we 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 wanted to. Um, uh, it's uh, for two reasons. We want to separate it to have a, a different uh, separate results. And also, um, for the, it, it, it was difficult to st stabilize the temperature with um, uh, uh, while we, we had the pressure test on the, uh, on the environmental box. Yeah, and we also had doing the break test, I think, it was under pressure, so it has also been tested the two at yeah. the same time. And the last cycle, yeah, it, it, uh, yeah. it's... So it, yeah. Both have been tested separated and not separated. 
Well, this will be a quick question. I think the answer will be quick. Uh, could you deliver a warranty of uh, 50 years or 20 years if test in combination with membrane succeed your hygiene test? Uh, the answer is no. No, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I uh, think, yeah. <laughs> that was one of the conclusions of the study. It's totally mm -hmm. impossible to guarantee a warranty of, uh, of 50 years or so. And the last remark before we close was that uh, it would have been interesting if Cerema had participated participated in the impregnated form regulation in France? Um, well, yeah, I take it as a, as a good advice. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think, Maria, I have not missed any question. Oh, so why should we make all those expensive tests? Oh, that was for the warranty. Well, it is to compare products from uh, one another. We cannot have a warranty of 50 years, but we can say that if it lasts the test, then it's better than, than the product is, uh, is good enough to be in the market. And if it does not pass the test, it's not good enough. I think that's the objective of, um, of all those tests. Mm. 